The largest urban solar farm in the country is being built right here in Houston. Marcelina Benito with how a former landfill is becoming a new source of power for Sunnyside. I've been here for a while, yes. <laughs> there are few people who know Sunnyside like 100-year-old Miss Deatrice Clow. The, the dump was over here. For nearly three decades, she lived in the shadow of a city landfill. I was stand out in my yard and see the, the, the clouds coming out of it. It smelled like old rotten meat and rotten wood. It was, it was horrible. It was just horrible. It was reality. From 1937 to the mid-70s, Sunnyside was where the city dumped its garbage. There were humps of trash. District D Councilmember Carolyn Evan Shabazz remembers driving by it as a little girl with her dad. Almost certainly an eyesore. I wouldn't think that I would feel very valued if you put a landfill next to my home. The dump has been shut down for five decades. Now just hundreds of acres of overgrown trees and shrubs. For 50 years, you've got this large contaminated space in your community that has been pulling down your community. But Mayor Sylvester Turner says that is all about to change. Sunnyside is ignored no more, okay? They are on the radar. The former landfill will soon be home to a 240-acre urban solar farm. There's no better use for a former landfill than putting solar on it. Dory Wolf is co-developer of the Sunnyside Solar Project. Sunnyside Energy will lease the former dump site from the city and transform it into a stunning array of solar panels. Everything's bigger in Texas, right? The project will make history all part of the city's climate action plan. You're talking about the largest urban solar farm in the country. Tens of thousands of solar panels will line an area the size of 200 football fields and produce enough energy to power 5,000 homes. That means discounted power rates for Sunnyside residents. The impact is not just felt here locally, the impact would be global in scale. The city of Houston, known for having one of the highest number of greenhouse gas emitters, suddenly through this solar farm alone, will be able to offset 120 million pounds of CO2 per year. This would be quite significant, transformative in nature. But longtime Sunnyside residents are hoping the biggest transformation I think it's a good idea. is seen and felt in their own backyard. To put it there now indicates that we are bringing that area up with us. Most significant, building out the solar farm will lead to new job training opportunities and hundreds of new jobs. Even beyond the solar farm, I can envision the investments that will be taking place around it. It is a game-changing green project fueling Sunnyside's next chapter. Construction slated to begin before the end of 2022. A community that has been held down for generations, um, all of a sudden, yeah, this you transform and revitalize, which says that if it can be done here in, in uh, Sunnyside, it can be done in other communities as well. There's still a lot of work to do until we see solar panels here at the site of the former dump, but Miss Cloud tells us she's hopeful she'll be here to see it and celebrate Sunnyside's new beginning. And that was Marcelino Benito. This Sunday, we are talking all things energy in a KHOU 11 news special. From solar power to electric cars to the power grid, Energizing Texas airs Sunday at 7 a.m. right here on KHOU 11. I want to watch that, especially about the grid. Mm -hmm. hey.